Reading number two, Make Way for Ducklings. When we last left, Mrs. Mallard had found somewhere. Good, said Mr. Mallard, delighted that at last Mrs. Mallard had found a place that suited her. But, look out, squawked Mrs. Ball Mallard all in a dither. You'll get run over. And when she got her breath, she added, this is no place for babies with all those horrible things rushing about. We have to look somewhere else. You see, there's a little boy riding on a bicycle, not a place for ducklings. So they flew over Beacon Hill and the State House, but there was no place there. They looked in Lewisburg Square, but there was no water to swim in. Then they flew over the Charles River. This is better, quacked Mrs. Ballard. Mr. Ballard agree. That island looks like a nice, quiet place, and it's only a little ways from the public garden. Yes, said Mrs. Mallard, remembering those peanuts. That looks like just the right place to hatch ducklings. So they chose a cozy spot among the bushes near the water and settled down to build their nest. And only just in time, for now they were beginning to molt. All their old wing feathers started to drop off and they would not be able to fly again until new ones grew in. So here they are, all ready to go. And one more page for this reading. But of course they could swim. And one day they swam over to the park on the riverbed and bank. And there they met a policeman named Michael. Michael fed them peanuts and after that, the Mallards called on Michael every single day. So ends story hour number two. Stay tuned.